Hi, welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to make an invoice approval workflow using JotForm. So follow me to my desktop right now. Let's get started here on our JotForm dashboard. And the first thing that we're going to need is a form that we're going to actually use on our approvals. So in this case, we're going to use this one, Invoice Upload for Approvals Form. Now, let's head on over to the Approvals section. Let's click on the drop down menu, click on My Approvals. We're going to create a new approval. So let's click on Create Approval. And we have three options. We can start from scratch, we can start a one-step approval, or use a template. In this case, we're gonna start from scratch to, to show you how you're gonna actually do this. So let's click on start from scratch. And the first thing that it's gonna ask is this, which form do we want to use for this case and purpose? So in this case, let's click on add form. And like we said before, we're gonna select one that we have previously created on JotForm. In this case, we're gonna use invoice upload for approval form. So let's click on this one. And now it's added. So what's happening next? Well, on the left, we got the basic elements. In this case, we're going to start off with the approval element. So now we added the approval element. Let's click on the gear icon to open up the options on the right. Now, by default, you have two outcomes, which is approve or deny. If you needed to add a brand new outcome, you can add it by clicking add new outcome. In this case, we're going to work with approve and deny. Now, who is going to be the approver? In this case, we're gonna use this email address for that purpose right now. Do we want to require login for the approver? In this case, we'll leave it on and we can customize approval request email also. Okay, next, let's add those emails that we need to send out when it's approved or denied. So let's click on the add element. Let's add the email, another email element right here. And now let's connect these. This is like a waterfall, so we must connect them to a, one to another, all right? So let's click on this little plus sign right here and drag it to the email. And we're going to see another plus sign right here, and let's add it to the other email. Now we get two options, select outcome. So let's click on this one, and for this one we're going to select, it's going to be the approval. So let's approve, and this, this outcome is going to be deny. So what's going to happen as of now? So what we've done right now is that it's going to start off by filling out this form where we're going to upload the invoice. It's going to trigger the approval for this email and this email is going to say it's going to be approved or not. And if it's approved, it's going to send out this email. So let's click on this email, edit the settings for this one. And the email subject for this one is email. We're going to say invoice approved. Okay. And we can edit the email right here. If we'd like to customize it, change recipients and go to the advanced settings. So let's save this one and now let's edit the deny email right here and we're going to say this one is invoice denied all right you can add whatever you want to the email subject again we can edit the content right here so let's save this and now we need to add the end flow so let's drag the end flow right here and we need to connect it to finish off this is really important that we do this again connect it okay so what's happening right here again the invoice is uploaded it's going to start the approval sequence for this email. It's going to be sent out and he can approve it. And if it's approved, it's going to send out this email. And if it's a night, it's going to send the other email. All right. Now, what happens if we want to make this a little bit more complex? Let's add a double layer of approval. Let's just say for this case and purpose, right? Let's just say you have a secretary and you want her to check him or her check the invoice before you actually receive it. Why? It might have some spelling mistakes. The... I don't know, the invoice might be wrong, the subject might be wrong, or for many reasons, and you want to deny it before it actually hits you as the boss, the CEO, all right? So let's add, let's drag this one right here. Let's add another approval right here. All right, let me kind of work this a bit so it looks a little bit more clear. Add this endpoint to the bottom. All right, and we're gonna change it's going to be the outcome still going to be approved and this one will also be approved and the other outcome is going to go to denied email all right let's change the email so we don't get that alert let's just change this for the other test email okay oh that didn't add there deny there we go now let me explain what's going to happen this with the double approval let's just say they send out the invoice and this person's going to receive it first if he denies it, well, it's going to send out the denial 
email right there and it's going to end the flow. Now, what happens if it's, if it's approved? Well, if it's approved, let's just say it's the secretary and now it hits your inbox and now you decide if you approve this or not. If you approve it, it's going to send out the email that's approved and if it's denied, it's going to start the same flow as denied and it hits the end. Now, let's go ahead and test this so you see how it actually looks when it hits your email inbox. So let's do this test. Let's go to publish. Let's copy link. Let's open incognito tab. Let's start that flow right here. Let's just fill out this invoice with dummy information. All right. Again, test email. This is going to be the invoice one, two, three, four, five. And let's just say that's going to be today. Any other comments? No comments. Um, let's just say if we added the, the invoice right here. Let's submit it. Now, let's head on over to our inbox to see how this actually looks. Okay, here's our email and it just hit our inbox. Now we can see we can approve or deny this invoice that we received. Obviously, we didn't attach it, but if the invoice was attached right here, we can view it, preview it, and if everything's all fine, we approve or deny. In this case, let's approve it. And now it's going to open up our job form approvals section. There we go. Now, action is required. Let's go ahead. We can add a comment if we like and we can approve or deny. There we go. Now it's ready. It's, we don't have any pending approvals. If we need to view that uh, previous approval, we can go back to the inbox and check it out right here. Well, that is how you create the invoice approvals workflow on Jotform. Well, we thank you all for watching. Wait for our next tutorials on this channel. Bye-bye.